the Reef Mountains in northern Morocco. An estimated 1,500 Barbary macaques live in the Bouacham forest. They're well camouflaged, scarcely discernible among the leaves and rocks. Members of a small NGO regularly travel through the forest in their monkey bus. Their aim is to protect the threatened macaques. Welsh project director Shan Waters and her Moroccan team observe the primates in the wild. She explains that it's anything but easy. They are not habituated to people at all, they're afraid of people, and so when they see people they run, so it's impossible to follow them. Barbary macaques are now considered an endangered species. Deforestation is shrinking their habitat. When the forest is gone, they no longer have a place to live. A touring exhibition, which the organization shows in towns and villages, raises awareness of another threat. The monkeys are illegally hunted and sold as house pets. Project Deputy Director Ahmed El Harad says the exhibition is a success. When they find a monkey at a site, for instance, they phone us quickly. Sometimes 20 different people phone. We've confiscated quite a number of animals simply because the exhibition has been so informative. Sean Waters is convinced that wildlife conservation only works if you help the local people too. So her team goes into the villages in Bouchem Forest. They've been active in Taliamin, for example, for several years. We need to understand how the people who share the uh, macaques' habitat or use the forest see the macaques, because they don't necessarily see them within tri as the same way as we do in, in, from, Euro from Europe. So, for example, they might not see them as interesting or beautiful in themselves. They may see them as an economic resource or a pest. In the future, the team wants to build a rescue and rehabilitation center in which confiscated Barbary macaques can find a temporary home until they can eventually be returned to the wild in Bouacham Forest.